Hey everybody, this is Galloway Talks. I'm Harry Arnett. Look who's on the couches with me. I almost said couch, it's actually two couches. Evan Gibbs, our main Metal Woods guy, and the doc. You can just go by the doc. They know who you are. That's it says it right there. there. <laughs> Underneath, you'll see that. Dr. Alan Hocknell. If these guys are here, you know it's because of one reason and one reason only. We're going to talk teen television. No, we're not going to talk teen television. We're going to talk golf clubs. And today we're launching a good one. That's the Alpha 815. This is a driver I think we've been waiting for for a long time. And people are probably wondering, you're launching it now? It seems like you just launched some stuff. Yeah. True. This is a brand new category. Tell us what we got here. It is. Uh, we've, for the first time, combined the advantages of forgiveness that a lot of people, a big part of the market, require in terms of uh, being able to get the ball to still go far when they don't hit the center of the face, go straight when they don't hit the center of the face. Combine that big advantage with the advantage of lower spin than you might have seen before to uh, contribute to extra distance. So, uh, really important combination. Low spin with forgiveness, brand new type of driver. Brand new, low spin with forgiveness. I'm this guy because I always thought when I'm playing those drivers that are really, really low spin, so Alpha was that way. You know, there's some other drivers in the market that are, you know, really low spin. They jam that weight forward. You get drivers that are low spin, but they're kind of hard to hit. So I've been begging you guys, give me something that has low spin but is easy to hit. So thank you, mainly for me. This show's always about just what's best for me. How did we do it? How did we do low spin with forgiveness? So one of the key new technologies is the R-Moto face technology. Uh, it's I'll hand you that right there. Yep. There she is. Armoto. So we kind of re-optimized the face thickness and boundary of the face together as one system uh, to make our most energy efficient face and, and weight efficient face we've ever designed. So this really allowed us to uh, put the weight back in the head and create that more forgiveness. And then obviously we got gravity core again, but this time it's gravity core that all of us are going to enjoy and play, not just the guys that benefit from you know extreme low spin. So we got gravity core, and our moto in the same head. What's the uh, what's the volume on that one? It's uh, right up to the limit, 460 cc. A uh, little bit bigger footprint from address than the original Alpha. Um, again, that creates a little bit more confidence in address, but also uh, allows us to have a higher MOI. So we're coming out this year, as you guys know. We're saying that there's really three different types of drivers that are going to help you hit the ball farther. We launched V-Series a little while ago. That's for players that we're going to give more club head speed to. And this one would fit in that, probably the biggest chunk of the market, right there, right smack in the middle of the market. Guys that need low spin, but with forgiveness. Drivers never existed like that before. Why are we able to do this and no one else can? Well, it's the multi-material technology that we're using, and obviously it's a very advanced construction. We've got a very lightweight crown. We use titanium very efficiently. The R-Moto technology is a particularly efficient use of titanium in the front part of the head. Um, we've taken the advantage that we get from those things and, and used it in a way that allows us to produce a head that's got all the forgiveness, obviously got the low CG capability, um, and compared to the original Alpha driver as well, it's lighter and more draw bias. So uh, that really starts to open up uh, the user base. It comes with a motor uh, speeder shaft that's uh, relatively lightweight uh, but a good shaft for a wide range of players. So the whole configuration of the club is just now uh, approachable by you know 60 70 percent of the market we think. So what's the, what kind of swing weight are we looking at here? This has a D3 swing weight. D3 swing weight so in that lighter um, easy to swing fast and also you get those those high launch low spin bombs. That's right. Say that. Say it for me. High, High launch, launch, low, low spin, spin bombs. bombs. Love that. <laughs> You're going to love that. We also have, for the first time in our history, 12 very premium upgrade shafts that go in this one. So this is going to be a aftermarket. It'll have very much an aftermarket feel to it, I think. Yeah, and that's consistent with our overall driver philosophy about finding the right configuration of the entire club for you, whether you're a V-Series type player or you're an Alpha 815 type player. That there are uh, ways to distance the, and you can get optimized by using all those options. All right, well, let me have this back. I'm gonna, no, that's mine. I'm going to keep that one. So that's the Big Bertha Alpha 815 driver. That launches in the middle of November, 440 $449 for you. Best $449 you've ever spent. I'm going to keep this one. I don't have to spend anything because I just stole this from Evan. Thanks, guys, for being here. That's the Alpha 815. Check it out on the website. Check it out in stores in the middle of November. And we need to have you guys back. Matter of fact, I think we're going to have you right back because we're going to talk about a different driver. So stay with us. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Callaway Talks.